Vision 2020, I think Dr. Ambika Nair spoke about it a couple of weeks ago. You know, after every 20 minutes of looking at your gadgets, look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Well, we were talking about eye care in that particular program. But today, we're talking about another aspect of eye care. We always know about, you know, uh, vision being not proper. But when eye is spoken about, there's so many intricate details that we are not aware of. We are only happy that we are able to see and we are able to experience this beautiful world. In today's Aware and Care, we will talk to Dr. Ambika Nair about dry eyes, a common problem, and most of us often watch others always itching their eyes. Now, there's a difference between itching or dry eyes. We will understand from Dr. Nair, who is also the co-founder and chief consultant at Shantigram Group of Companies. Welcome to the show, Dr. Nair. How are you? Thank you so much. How are you? I'm doing All fine. Good, Dr. Nair. Uh, I'm sure you just had the brief of what we're going to talk about this uh, in this episode. We're going to talk about dry eyes. And okay. I also mentioned in the beginning that uh, when you think about dry eyes, we're also thinking about itchy eyes. Now, let's start with the basics of is itchy eyes and dry eyes the same? And what are the symptoms? Actually, in Ayurveda, see, we are talking about Ayurveda care, right? Mm -hmm. So we will be, you know, like it is called Shushka Akshipaka. Okay. okay, because the dryness. Mm -hmm. Okay, normally, you know, like uh, so it is a self diagnosable. Uh -huh. Anybody can diagnose because if they are having the dryness and itching, some mm -hmm. people will have little pain, and some people will complain that they have a lot of, you know, like uh, the blurry vision. Mm -hmm. They cannot look at the light. So, these are some of the symptoms actually. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And you know, like when it is continuing, see, maybe one day or two days is fine. But if it is continuing for a long time, then, you know, like there is a problem. So mm -hmm. they will tell that, you know, because, you know, like, uh, and here, like, uh, sorry, the I, you know, like uh, the tears are not coming properly. Mm -hmm. And so much of dryness will be there. And you can see that the redness in the eye will be there. Mm -hmm. So people sometimes, you know, they will misunderstand it with uh, conjunctivitis or anything like that. Oh, okay. There's if it difference. is in one eye, normally it will not come in one eye. It will come in both the eyes, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Doctor, you just mentioned about tears in the eyes because my understanding right now, because this question, this program is all about aware and understanding what this problem is. When you say something is dry, we always associate itching with dryness. Now, when you're talking about dryness of the eye, is it something to do with the fluids or the person is not able to have tears? No, there will not be tears actually because the, the, the lacrimal duct will be blocked actually because that is the, you know, like lubrication has to be there. Then only, you know, like uh, we can open the eyes, we can close the eyes mm -hmm. properly and, you know, like we, we have a good vision. So when it is impaired, uh -huh. okay, sometimes, you know, like it can be with the pitta, vata, or even with the kapha, because that is one of the things that we always diagnose them. Mm -hmm. What is the root cause? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the tear gland will be blocked. Okay. That uh, tear duct also will be blocked. Okay. So the reason we will find out, and normally in dry eyes, in, in, in normal cases, it will be only because of the blockage. It can and come with the age also. That was my just question. That does it come with yeah. age or menopause or hormones or yeah. any of the medicines or anti-allergy medicines? Does it come all because of this? Definitely. Or? Definitely. Okay. It can come with the, you know, like people, because the causes, you know, one of the big causes will be that you can ask because of the allergies, you know, people take a lot of antihistamine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these things, you know, that, that will be seen like such people, you know, because See, the, uh, their allergies are, you know, that they are like a kapha people. Kapha people okay. So mm -hmm. they are, you know, like it is suppressed actually. Mm -hmm. So it will, it will be blocked for that. Okay. Another thing is that, you know, like uh, maybe indigestion, oh. menopause, mm -hmm. and they are, you know, like uh, sleep is not good, traveling a lot, they are mm -hmm. fatigued, inadequate food. Okay, and the dryness, actually, they are not, you know, like, because they don't drink water much. So, this could be temporary reasons why the dry eyes are there, right? Yeah, sometimes it can be temporary, but sometimes it can be permanent also, because if it is with any other diseases, like if you are having, like, arthritis or any other diseases like that, and you are on a, you know, like, a, uh, antibiotic for a long time, okay. diabetes, mm -hmm. because... Okay. So many people will complain of like very, very bad dry eyes. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So are we, are we also trying to say that um, this problem of dry eyes is not only because of gadgets, but it could also be because of age, menopause, hormones, underlying yes. health conditions and medications? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. And, uh, you know, like, uh, and, you know, like when somebody comes to our clinic also, we will see that what's the root cause, whether it is, it can be, you know, like uh, it can be taken care of a lot. It can be. So it's this not a, it's not a big, uh, big issue. Okay. So uh, does this also happen to people who have spectacles or they do not have, um, it comes to anybody? No, anybody can get it actually. It's not a must that because spectacles also, because they will have some underlying issues will be there. Okay. And normally, you know, like, uh, uh, see, somebody asked me whether it can cause any uh, blindness. If it affects the cornea for a long time, definitely mm-hmm. it can lead to blindness. Oh. Yeah. Some people will come and tell, you know, like, I cannot close the eyes because I feel that some foreign body is inside. Exactly. See, because you mentioned pain. So does it mean there is something like a prickly kind of a yeah, prickly. Yeah, that they will always tell like that because actually... I cannot close it. I cannot close it. I feel some foreign bodies inside. So, but do you often see that patients who have this problem, they're constantly washing their eyes to get moisture in the eyes? They keep on, no, some people, because it's all in the workplace and all, you, you won't be able to do such things, right? Mm-hmm. So they will be using that, you know, like uh, uh, artificial tear. Oh. Okay. Because actually they all use like that only. But mm-hmm. when they come to Ayurveda, it is entirely different actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, uh, two things that you mentioned here is that this is a curable or manageable condition and you don't have to harm your eyes and itching is just a side effect of the dryness and the dryness will be taken care of. So the patient is coming to uh, Shanti Gram for the treatment and understanding what the eyes are. Does it also affect the vision? Do you also check for the vision when they come for the treatment? No, they come with the report of the vision. Okay. So do you expect them to bring the vision uh, report? Yeah, also? they will come with that only because nobody will come directly, you know, because dry eyes, they were treated for a long time. Maybe like some people will come and tell that over oh, three months I was being treated. Sometimes, you know, like five years or oh, since 15 years I was on this. So such cases, you know, then we do the therapies are there for that actually. You mentioned a very nice point here, doctor. I mean, despite so many episodes of, you know, aware and care, people come with their reports, complete reports, and then they come to you. They've done everything and then they try Ayurveda, which is basically the base medicine in um, culturally in the South Asia. So they come with the reports, they speak to you, they understand uh, what the treatment process is going to be. What are the biggest concerns people have? Is, are they talking about discomfort or their fear is more about towards blindness or partial vision? No, because they will be putting, continuously putting, actually, you know, like they will ask, especially people are working on the computer these days, right? Uh-huh. So, you know, like they will tell you, you know, it should be really pain. I cannot, I am unable to look at the screen for a long time. Like one hour, some people cannot even look at for 30 minutes, they have to come out. Mm-hmm. So such conditions, because they were using all these artificial tear, antibiotics, so many things they were using, such cases comes to me. Chronic cases mostly comes to me. So, Dr. Nair, a patient is coming to Shantigram with concern for the eyes. Of course, he comes with a lot of fears and uh, his previous reports and all the treatments that they're doing. What kind of treatment is expected when uh, such a sensitive organ of the body, the eye, is involved? I'm sure you, you would say that they've already tried everything, so they're prepared for uh, all kinds of treatments. But what yes. should they be expecting at Shantigram? You know, like uh, we, will, we will give them Nasyam also because very nice Panjagarma treatments are there. And the netra dhara is given. This is all according to the condition of the person. Okay. Okay. And even netra tarpanam will be given. Okay. Just, Some days in... There's so many Ayurvedic terms that you're using. So if you have to yeah. understand a little bit about the medications or the process, does it involve something inside the eye or it's... No, this is external treatments actually. Panchakarma treatments are external treatments actually. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So we will be giving, you know, like a netra dhara. First of all, we will uh, see that what type of uh, constitution that pragrdhya, pragrdhya analysis will be done uh-huh. and we will start, you know, herbal uh, medicines for them. Mm-hmm. Then we will ask them to come for Panchakarma. Okay. Sometimes, you know, there will be only little problem with them. Uh-huh. Only the digestion issues. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that will itself will, you know, like open up so it, all it is, the blocks. 
Yeah. Um, I know um, we always see the posters of uh, the Ayurvedic uh, institutes or um, centers where we see somebody is lying down, they have a cloth on their eyes. So we want to share uh, that information also with our viewers today. When you talk about that, drug eye treatment, does it involve that the person has to bandage the eyes after the treatment or he can continue? No, no, sleep? no. Bandaging the eyes is for Shirodara. Okay. This is the netra. So we will be making a bund over there and we'll be pouring the this one. Like a, a special a medicated ghee preparations are there. Okay. Before itself, we will be able to give because I told you, now everybody need not to go for all those things. Uh -huh. That is like a greasing of the eyes. You yeah. understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like maybe one or two weeks mm -hmm. and there, you know, they can go for their report and they themselves will tell that how they are doing it. We are doing a lot of cases like that. Okay. And uh, some people see, I told you, you even told, mentioned about antihistamines. Actually, uh -huh. people take a lot of antihistamines because actually, if they are kapha constitutional, like mm -hmm. allergies are there, sinusitis is there, mm -hmm. asthma patients are there, you know, like when we do the nasim itself, they are becoming much, much better. Okay. So the okay. medicines also, herbal, uh, you know, like supplements also, it differs, you know, like uh, because what we have to give it all according to the constitution of the person okay. and so, what diet they should follow. Mm -hmm. Whether so friends, what, taking... what you just heard from Dr. Nair is once the treatment at Shantigram starts, uh, it's not about that you cannot continue to use your vision or you have to close your eyes and sit until the entire treatment is done. You can continue to with your basic activities. You will continue to see when you come out of the uh, treatment center. It is basically a process and there is a frequency and number of cycles that you have to follow once the treatment is started. You were just mentioning about the diet, doctor. What kind of a diet is recommended usually for people with dry eyes, apart from the constitution of the body? Okay, that we will be telling them to drink a lot of water. Uh -huh. Okay, hydrate themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, frequently, at least, you know, uh, 12, 12 glasses of water they should drink. 12, okay. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and you know, like you, you say, they have like a ghee. Uh -huh. in the diet okay. okay almonds can be used so this all depends upon the constitution but what they can do at home i am telling mm -hmm. okay and you know like even abhyangam it is very good application of oil but when dry eyes comes because that has to be taken care in that aspect mm -hmm. otherwise you know sometimes you know they cannot look at the see because we after doing the case itself you know like in two three days they will tell that how they feel Beautiful, okay. It's a very, very nice treatment, actually, in Ayurveda, we offer. Okay. And uh, doctor, um, I also want to check this from behalf of all the women folk out there. When you talk about uh, dry eyes and treatment, especially from the Ayurvedic perspective, can they can they continue to put their eye makeup or it uh, hinders they can. The... they can. So there is no stoppage to a regular life and there's a treatment. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Actually, because when they have to go out, they will always do that, actually. Even with this, when they will be put the artificial tears also, they will be doing the makeup. Okay, so that's... Nobody will stop it, Madhavi. <laughs> <laughs> well, I care is such an important part of our life and then this, these are some of the aspects we want to talk about. I also want to check with you, do you, in your experience, see a specific age group coming with this concern or a gender, like, you know, more men are affected, more children are affected, or women are affected? Age group of like 33, mm -hmm. like, you know, like your 40s. Mm -hmm. Some people then in the old age, of course, uh, this is an aging process. Okay. That is very common. Mm -hmm. But youngsters, I have seen that, you know, dry eyes, uh, you know, like 33. Maximum, mm -hmm. I have seen that like uh, 31, 33. Okay. So they may be having some blocks and all lacrimal gland is blocked. Okay. So when we do, you know, some people will tell that because... I, I don't get the smell also. Oh, so then so that, all... that comes to a very important question from my side also that I wanted to understand. Do you often see that people with dry eyes are more prone to sinus or esnophilia or anything? Yes, kind of yes. They are, okay. Not only, you know, like because they are, you know, like they are, uh, you know, some diseases from the blood also, any recta dosha can be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, you see, tear is same like, uh, you know, like it is a moisturizing agent actually. Mm -hmm. That's why people use artificial TAs. Mm -hmm. But this is, you know, like after the treatments, you know, they continue and they, and what we will tell them also what they can do at home. This Nasya and all we tell them to do. Continue to Masha, do. You know, like a Nasya, we will tell them. That is like a Dinacharya. 
<laughs> it's how a many times they should problem. wash their eyes mm -hmm. you know like you know like oil pulling there are so many things we'll tell them also okay. so doctor when a person the patient is cured at from these treatments do yes. you ever see a re relapse on somebody what kind of negligence that do patients continue to do that there's a relapse in this in the treatment see if they are not taking care mm -hmm. See, like I'm, you are coming to my clinic. Mm -hmm. I helped you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, but you know, like uh, you, uh, whatever I told, if you are not following it, then I will not be responsible, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then that has to be because you should understand. You have to take care of yourself. Absolutely. That's why we are having this program itself, aware and care. Aware and care. Now let us also talk about on behalf of somebody who has actually come for a treatment or yes. they have taken care of the dry eyes, and they have. Due to some mistakes, the problem has come back again. Is there so, hope or will the eyes get better? No, it can come back and it can go back also very fast. Okay. So yeah, this is something. really manageable. The mother, it is not a big issue. Mm -hmm. But you know, like only thing, if you don't take care, things will, you know, like go out of hand. That's and what kind of eye exercises do you recommend um, for people eye with eyes? Eye exercises, you know, we definitely recommend for that, you know, like... Uh, even some yoga postures are also there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what they should, you know, like, because we'll be telling mostly about Nasya and all those other things. Mm -hmm. And in that itself, those people will be 100% cured. Right? Oh, this is so hopeful and so wonderful. Doctor, what about the comfort factor? Do you, when they're going through the treatment, of course, there are little phases of discomfort. So do they put hot compress, cold compress? Anything no, that we never put any hot compress or cold compress. Mm hmm there is no discomfort at all. Only comfort is there. No, no, I'm talking about patients at home when they're getting that feeling of dry eyes. Yeah, they can do like a cold compress. They can do cold compress. That's yeah, my cold compress. Because that actually, you see, there is an inflammation over there. No? The inflammation has to come down. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, that's why they take all, all these antihistamines and everything. Uh, what kind of vitamins do you recommend for dry eyes, which we should inculcate in vitamin our... Vitamin A, vitamin E. Uh -huh. And even vitamin D also. Food, so yeah. I don't I don't prescribe all those things. It's it all I comes tell them food. I tell them only through the food. <laughs> what you eat, it should be your medicine. Okay. One yeah. food that, that is a must for dry eyes, which you feel that every day they should be eating or when they are right from carrots. Carrots. <laughs> There'll be many parents who will be very happy to show this episode to their children and many adults. And just, amla, amla. Amla also, okay. Amla is good, but only thing, you know, even trifla powder. Mm -hmm. See, this all you can use. Trifla powder, you know, you can use like, a, see, like a half, uh, one fourth teaspoon with one teaspoon of uh, ghee at home mm -hmm. every night. So this all helps a lot, you know, like if you have eye vision problems and also, you know, like it can be taken care of. But only thing, you know, people are very lazy. They will do only for a few days. After which they will not do it. Well, you've just hit the nail, doctor. That is exactly what happens. And in all the episodes that we talk, people think that it's a lengthy process. The damages are lengthy. And it, for a longer period of time, if you do not curtail to them. And I've also heard sometimes people do go through surgeries also for dry eyes. Is it No, 90% of the cases, there, there is no surgery needed. No and unless there is, you know, like uh, complications. So there is a possibility that they could it could lead to such extremism. Yeah, but no, no, but uh, is totally, yes, they don't. They don't actually because nobody will tell them. You know, like uh, to go for surgery. Yeah. So this is a wonderful episode, uh, Doctor Nair. And any other further points that you want to let our viewers know about dry eyes that we have to cover? They should, you know, like uh, take care of their eyes. Watch with the cold water. Mm -hmm. They can use trifla powder, mm -hmm. boil it, cool it, mm -hmm. strain it. You can wash it. But I told you, you know, like what you can use is that a daily use trifla powder. One, mm -hmm. Don't overuse anything because I tell, you know, like they will be using two, three times. Don't overuse anything mm -hmm. because that itself will create damage. Right. So and drink a lot of water. Two words are a must, and two it does not mean any irritated drinks or coffee or tea, but it is basically plain, simple, clean water that Dr. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Water.
Yes, coconut water also. Thank you so much, Dr. Naya. This is a beautiful and simple episode about eye care. It is as simple as changing your dietary habits and changing your lifestyle, lifestyle habits and giving rest to the eyes on frequent basis. And when there is a problem, reach out to the doctor. And the sooner to Dr. Ambika Nair and her team, it's even more better. Thank you so much for this episode. I look forward to the next episode with you with much more information about another health problem. And viewers, if you have any concerns and you're feeling a little shy to talk about it, we are here to help you. Please feel free to text us or um, comment so that we can pick up those topics and help you reach the doctor as early as possible. It's a very interesting episode, actually, what we have done. Mm -hmm. Because opening the blockage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Naya. Thank you so much.